Hello everyone and welcome back. This is the third video of our GAM tutorials. And in this video, we're going to see how we can authorize and run the GAM tool. So let's jump to our Windows Server lab and let's get started. So this is the downloads window and this is the GAM folder. So let's open a command prompt window here. Okay, let's go inside the GAM folder. So what we have here right now is the GAM setup.bat and GAM exe. We're going to run the GAM setup bat. So let's type GAM dash setup. Let's type tab and it will autocomplete. It will ask us first for our G Suite Super Administrator email address. And I'll type my testing G Suite domain. Then it will ask us if you are ready to set up the Google API project for GAM, which will authorize the GAM tool to use the APIs. The Basically, it will use many APIs that are related to G Suite. So let's type Y for yes. And then it will ask us to sign in to our account and to accept the agreement if this was the first time we sign in to the developer's console. Otherwise, we'll just sign in and accept the permissions to create the new project. Of course, I've used the developer's console many times, so it did not ask me to accept any agreements. So I'll just click on allow and the authentication flow has been completed. This is only to create the project. We still have like two more authentications or three more authentications we need to do. Let's switch back to the command prompt window and we see it now trying to create the project. So it, it, it attempted to create the project for two times, but it failed. So it, it did like a sleeping timeout for one first time for one second, then it did it for four seconds. And now the project was created and the APIs are being enabled, as you can see here. Now, in order to link the, the files that we have on our system to the project that have been created on the developers console, we need to go to this URL, which is console.developers.google.com slash API slash credentials and then the project ID. Basically, we will create open auth credentials then we will supply the client ID and the client secret that we will get from the credentials once we are done with the creation. So let's go to the URL and I think I'll need to use notepad to make it a one line. So let's open notepad. Let's do paste and let's make it in one line. So this is the URL that we need to use. And let's open a new tab and let's go to the URL. So what it tells us that we need to click the create credentials button, which is the blue button. And then we will need to choose the other or the open auth credentials or client ID. And then for the client ID type, we'll choose other and then we will be done basically. So let's click create credentials. Let's click open auth client ID. And it will ask us to configure a consent screen. Basically, this consent screen is like a product name that will be displayed to the user once we authorize the GAM to work with our domain. So let's click configure consent screen. And basically you can type any product name. You can fill all of this information if you want. However, typing the product name only is enough. So I'm going to type only a product name, which is GAM demo. And that's it, I'll click save. Now I can select the application type for the credentials or for the client ID type. I'm going to choose other and you can name whatever you want here. If you want, I am just going to leave it to the default name and then I'll click create. Then we see the client ID and the client secrets. So first we need to copy the client ID. We'll have to go back to the command prompt and paste. Note that sometimes, not every time, not always, sometimes you might get a space at the end of the client ID and at the beginning also. So you just need to make sure that there are no spaces at the beginning or at the end. So we'll just delete this space with the delete and go to the end also backspace to make sure there are no spaces. Then enter, then we'll need to paste the client secret, which is found again on the second line here. So copy. We'll go here and make paste. And again, just make sure that you do not have any spaces. As you can see, there are no spaces at the beginning or at the end. And then we click enter. Now, 
it tells us that we need to go to another place which is called the service accounts in service accounts we have to grant domain wide delegation to the created service account after this we need to press enter to indicate that we did this so going back to the developers console we'll click ok to close this window then we'll have to click the manage service accounts link which is at the right side of the screen we'll be taken to the service accounts page and this is the service account that we have created along with the credentials just now so we'll open the menu on the right side and we'll click edit in the edit we'll click the or we'll mark the enable g suite domain wide delegation and basically that's it we'll click save and that's it you note here that under the options you see dwd which is a shortcut for domain wide delegation this is a way to know that this service account has a domain wide delegation or not if you see it empty it means that the service account that you're using has no domain wide delegation so what we need to do next is we'll click the view client id link and we'll be taken to the client id page just put this client id number or value copy it and paste it in notepad you will need it later on and then we'll have to go back to the command prompt basically we've done what they asked us to do we enabled the domain wide delegation so we'll need to click the or press the enter button and now gam is asking us if we are ready to authorize it to perform the g suite management operations as our admin account so it means it will impersonate our admin account it means also if you do something in gam you will know the changes through the admin audit logs and basically the actions or the activities will be shown as be generated from your own account so just be aware of this in case you look to troubleshoot or audit the activities or the actions that have been performed using the GAM tool so we'll press Y for yes and we'll press enter now these are the scopes of the APIs that we will authorize GAM to use as you see there are a lot of APIs and these APIs basically manage almost everything in our G Suite Admin Console you know you can enable or disable these APIs however I'm going to keep the defaults here because you do not need to work with the reseller API and we do not need to work with the pub sub API so we, we, we don't need those two APIs we are actually a consumer here so we don't need to use those two so this the selection here is C for continue so I'm gonna type C and then enter then it's going now to ask me to grant these permissions on the web page so I'll sign in with the account these are the permissions that GAM requires from me and as you can see there are a lot of permissions on top you will see the the product name that we have entered previously GAM demo so you will see the product name here going down we'll click allow that's it this is the second authorization now going back to command prompt it is asking us now are you ready to authorize GAM to manage our G Suite users and data settings so we'll type Y for yes and enter now it's asking us to enter a regular G Suite user because it will test the permissions and the authorization that it has on that user it will not do any changes or anything so let's type for example any any and you, you can type any regular user in your domain so i'm going to type a testing user here and then we'll type enter you see now it's going to give me fail for all of these scoops this is normal because basically we need to authorize it to impersonate our users and we need to authorize it to work with our users this has not been done yet so you see these the the scoops the testing on the user is failed completely on all of these scoops and what it tells us now that we need to go to this URL and this is the client ID which we have copied previously also if you want to compare here is the client ID so we need to grant the permissions to this client ID to be able to manage the users now as an advice if you want to go to this link you can just go ahead if you don't then there is a better way to do it then you will have to go to the admin console in the admin console in the search bar on top just type manage api client access then go to the first result that you will get 
then in the results you will see the the page that you need to go highlighted in yellow so go to this link manage api client access and then you have two fields to fill you have the client name and the one or more api scoops basically the client name is the client id that you've got from the from the command prompt window or from the developers console so we'll take the the value here and the scoops basically all of these lines so you will have to copy those as a one text or a one block or whatever so once we copy we will paste here they will automatically be sorted into one line so you see now the scoops have been sorted into one line for us and that's it basically we'll click authorize and we should be done now to test again we'll switch back to the command prompt and it's asking us again if we want to do the authorization or not so we'll press y for yes and it's asking to enter another or a regular email address for a user so let's type the same email address again and this time it will not give us fail for all of these scoops it might give us fail for one or two scoops but it should give us pass for all of these scoops if it give us fail for any of these scoops it means it just needs some time to to propagate or to to get the changes or the information that we just put into the manage api client access page so let's press enter here and let's see what's going to happen now we have pass 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 everything should be pass and basically that's it we have just authorized GAM to work with our G Suite users and data now. One final point, if you want to test the authorization, if you want to make sure that the authorization is proper and you have the proper scope authorized, there is one handy command is available for you, which is GAM user, then the email address of the user, which should, this should be a regular user email address. So let's type the same user account or something else. I'm going to type tuser02 this time and then check service account so this means it will check the authorization and the service account access against this user account that we just type its email address here so once we press enter you see now it's going to do the same check again that we've seen above and it gives us pass on all of these scoops so another command to check and to see the access of GAM to our domain. Let's type GAM info domain. And it will give us information about the domain that we have authorized GAM against it. And GAM info user. It will give us information about the current user who is using GAM, which is the admin account. So basically this is it for this video. It's not that complicated at all. However, there is some work involved here. I got to point out that today and now the, the authorization process is much easier and much shorter than we had before because I think one year back it was a much longer process and it did involve a lot of work and basically we had to do everything, even the service account download. So now it has become much easier and much user friendly and I really encourage you to use GAM to manage your G Suite domain and basically to achieve and do any task that you would like to have it automated or scripted in a way to become much easier and faster so this is it for this video the next video i'm gonna start or the next series of videos i'm going to start to show you examples and use cases for gam i really don't know how many videos this will be but i will do my best to show you all the possible use cases and all of the possible scenarios for gam so until then, please like and subscribe and also check my website. And I still have a promotion going on my course, the complete course to manage G Suite. This is a course for G Suite administrators that will give you all of the details about managing your G Suite, how you can manage the settings for Gmail and Google Drive and the Google Groups and Hangouts. It will give you a lot of details and a lot of information about Google standard security policies and standard practices. You will see how you can implement mail flow control like mail routing rules or mail compliance rules or attachment compliance rules and a lot of content also that will help your end users adopt more the G Suite products such as the Google Sites and Google Forms. So I really encourage you to check the course. There is a promotion on it. You can get it for $10.99 instead of $59.99.
I'll make sure to put the link in the video description and you should see the link on the screen as well. So until the next video, I hope this was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.